guys, Carrie here back with another video review. Today I'm reviewing this super fun kids math game. It's called Math Island and it is honestly one of my kids' favorite games. They ask to play with it all the time. Now this is really great for um, like younger kids who are doing um, math problems. Um, my kids absolutely love it. We use it, like I said, all the time. They ask to do it a lot. Um, but basically I got this. Um, number one is because my older daughter is I'm trying to help her do her more simple math a little bit quicker because now she's doing like two digit type math. But I wanted her to do um, her one digit math and just kind of get quicker at doing that and memorizing what it is. And then for my youngest, I got it for him because now he's starting to go into some basic math. Um, and so this is a really great game for the both of them to do. Um, and then also I got it as a fun thing to do throughout the summer so that they don't lose the math skills or the memorization or the, you know, the math techniques that we teach them throughout the summer um, so that we can just continue to keep up on um, those skills. So basically this is that game. And like I said, we've been loving it. I love how strong and durable it is. It's a really high quality game, um, which I really like because we get a lot of uses out of this one. So I want it to be able to hold up to how much we are using it. And it's been doing really good. Um, and so anyways, this is basically what the game looks like. So you have four different characters here and you have your dice right here. So as you start the game, you roll the dice and you do your math equations. So what you do is you take your the higher number and you put it in front and the lower number right here, right? So then you do eight minus three, which is five. And we'll go five spaces, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then the next person will go. And you keep going and you keep doing the game. Now, there are certain things that can happen if you land on certain numbers, okay? So I'll say if I land on this seven right here, I roll this dice right here and it says negative. So if it says negative, I have to move back seven spots. If it says plus, I can move forward seven spots. So that's, you'll see the numbers all throughout the board and that's what happens when you roll, if you land on the number, you roll the dice and it'll tell you either negative move back, positive move forward. Uh, the other thing is, is there's this fun temple guard right here. So if you land on this temple guard, you actually have to go back to the start. Um, you have shortcuts, you have lose turns, um, you have, that's another lose turn, and then you have shortcuts that you can take. My kids always take this pathway. Um, which is really funny because they like it. But anyways, if you end up going onto the volcano pop, what you do is you put a number in there, just one dice, and you flick it out like this, and it landed on the three. So then you have to move back three spaces. Um, and then if you land on it again, um, you just treat it like a normal play. You, you only do it once per round. Um, so that you're not just like constantly going back on this, <laughs> especially that part. There is a shortcut one over there. Um, so yeah, you only do it once, but like what I love is that everyone who's playing always gets one turn to do a volcano pop. So it just makes it feel everyone's included and gets to do it. Um, and then also you'll see things that say odds or evens, like here's an evens and here's an odds. If you happen to land on it, you have to the person who lands on it has to roll the dice until they get an odd number and then they can go that many spaces of their odd number. Um, if you land on the bridge, you go back three, um, evens, odds, lose a turn, and then this vines is really fun. If you get a vine, you have to roll a combination where the value is greater than 10. So right there, I would be able to get out of the vines because I got 17. So you have to have a 10 or greater value to be able to get out of the vines and then you can go to the finish spot. So anyways, it's a really fun and engaging game. They love doing it. Plus again, of the repetition with math, it gets their brains, um, quicker at knowing what the equations are and what the sum and like what the total equals. So anyways, if you're looking for a super fun math game, we definitely recommend this one. It's been a really fun one to play um, and we've really enjoyed it. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video review and thanks for watching.